How do I choose safety shoes? Many companies are tasked with assuring their workers' safety while on the job. Some have made safety shoes and other safety wares readily available. Others have rules mandating their workers to always wear safety paraphernalia. If the onus of getting your safety shoes fall on you, then the question, how do I choose safety shoes, is likely on your mind. We completely understand how choosing one or two from the sea of available safety shoes can be confusing so we've done all the work for you. This video should help you in making the right decision for your feet. Come with us. Factors to consider when you choose safety shoes. Picking random safety shoes off the shelf could be counterproductive, because a boot that works perfectly for A may be terrible for B. We have grouped the factors to be considered before making a choice into three thus. Number 1. Safety standards. Number 2. Workplace factors. Number 3. Personal factors. Safety standards to consider when you choose safety shoes. Your safety shoe must meet the necessary safety requirements. Different countries have their safety shoe standards but they basically have the same requirements. The two major safety footwear standards are ASTM 2413 and NISO 20345. ASTM, the American Society for Testing and Materials, standards. ASTM is an international standards body that entails the minimum requirement safety footwear must meet. The latest ASTM standards are. ASTM 2413-17 for safety toe cap performance requirements. ASTM 2413-18 for foot protection. Requirements. Impact resistance, this is rated by imparting a force of 75 FTLBS to the toe of the shoe. It checks for the protection the shoe offers against falling objects. Safety shoes that meet this requirement are labeled I-75. Compression resistance, this is rated by delivering a force of 2,500 pounds to the toe. It checks for the protection the shoe offers against rolling objects. Safety shoes that meet this requirement are labeled C-75. Other ratings include M or F for male or female designed safety shoes respectively. A rating for electrical hazard. MT-75 rating for metatarsal protection tested against 75 FTLBS of force. CD rating for conductive characteristics. SD for static dissipative, this could be SD-135 or 10 for 1 to 100, 1 to 35 or 1 to 10 megohms respectively. PR rating for resistance against puncture. NISO, this is the international standards body that regulates the minimum requirement for safety footwear in Europe. The latest standard is the NISO 20345. It mandates that the toe caps of safety shoes are resistant against a force of 200 joules. There are two classes of this safety standard, class 1 safety and class 2 safety. Class 1 safety, safety shoes made with materials like leather are defined by this class. Such shoes are labeled as follows. Safety basic, SB. Toe protection and slip resistance. S1 SB requirements plus closed heel, anti-static, heel energy absorption, oil and fuel resistance. S1 PS1 plus puncture resistance. S2 S1 plus upper bearing water repellents. S3 S1 plus puncture resistance, water repellents and cleated outsoles. Class 2 safety, safety shoes made with rubber and polymers are defined by this class. They are labeled as follows. S4 same as S2. S5 same as S3. Other standards, based on country or region as, NZS 2210.1-2010 for Australia and New Zealand. CAN, CSA Z19502 for Canada. SS 513-2005 for Singapore. GB 21148 and N1, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and 5 for China. Note, there is a significant difference between safety shoes, work shoes, and protective shoes. While safety shoes have toe capping that is 200 joules impact resistant, work shoes have no toe capping, and protective shoes have toe capping of 100 joules. Workplace factors to consider when you choose safety shoes. How do I choose safety shoes? Workplaces differ. Even companies within the same industry can have varying environments or work conditions. Additionally, specific industries require specific kinds of safety shoes. 
The prominent factors to consider are the hazards specific to your workplace. Therefore you should choose safety shoes that are particularly made to overcome your workplace hazards. Workplaces which are predominantly susceptible to electrocution. For this kind of workplace, choose safety shoes made with proper high-grade insulator materials. High-grade rubber boots with an extended upper or ankle guard, shaft will be perfect. This will do well to protect personnel from sources of contact or exposure to an electric field. For electrical jobs that also require climbing, the boots have to be lightweight and flexible. Flexibility goes a long way to address the difficulty in climbing and as such prevent accidental falls and other threats posed by heights. Workplaces where chemicals or corrosive substances either liquid or solid forms are handled. How do I choose safety shoes? Elastomers and other forms of plastics offer high resistance to corrosive attack from chemicals such as strong base and weak acids. Therefore to protect the feet and enhance comfort while performing tasks in such workplaces, total rubber safety boots are recommended. Also, flexible and lightweight rubber boots will facilitate movement in the advent of poisonous chemical spills and possible explosions. Workplaces prone to spills. Here, the selection of a safety shoe will be based on slip-resistant outsoles. A safety shoe with a good grip will also serve well. This will prevent falls and slippage due to water, oil or other spills. Sometimes, minor slips may occur until you break into the shoe. Workplaces with high sources of heat or elevated, sub-zero temperature zones. People who work in places with furnaces or cryogenic units need special protection. Their feet have to be protected to forestall burns or frostbites. Therefore, properly insulated safety shoes or those made with very thick leather will be required. Additionally, the boot shafts, upper must be tall enough to cover the entire shin and calf regions of the leg. It is also important to select a boot with a thick enough outsole and reinforced rubber or composite material. This is because they exhibit high resistance to very high and sub-zero temperatures. The insole and midsole must be well padded so as to provide additional comfort. Workplaces that exposes personnel to hard surfaces and places, where heavy machines or materials are handled. These include places with mines or metal-based platforms. It also covers persons who handle cutting tools or are involved in the storage of heavy machinery or materials. The exposure of safety shoes to cutting tools or debris from cut materials, impact from heavy materials and rocky surfaces must be considered. Hard floors or platforms contribute to the rapid deterioration of safety boot soles. In this case, heavily reinforced boots must be chosen to withstand impact and compressive stresses that are commonly experienced in this work zone. Furthermore, a well-reinforced hardcore boot is required. The flexibility of the insole pads also matter, because they prevent the formation of blisters on the feet. The toe region must be well spaced out to allow free movement of the toes. Personal factors to consider when you choose safety shoes. Now that you have safety standards and workplace factors sorted out, let's go further. We all have different feet. Yours may be slender and long while another's is wide and small. The factors to be considered go beyond size. We've highlighted the major points for you. Size. Size matters. Before you make that order, be sure you are choosing the right size. Some shoes have sizes that are true to fit and others don't. If you are buying from online stores, it will be wise to check reviews that border on size. Also, you may chat with the merchant to get your true sizing. You can give little room for extra comfort but not too much. Test your new safety shoes at the time your feet are swollen that is, at the close of work. This can help determine a true fit. Poorly fitting shoes are damaging to the feet so this is important. Fun fact, thick socks can be worn with safety shoes that run big or for extra padding. Comfort. Your safety shoes must be comfortable, it will be a shame to get awesome but uncomfortable safety shoes. Comfort and protection go hand in hand, therefore, never trade one for the other. The mesh lining and insole technology of a safety shoe play a huge role in determining its comfort. Moisture, wicking lining, in particular, have great results in keeping the feet dry and comfortable. Watch our video on the most comfortable safety shoes available. Aesthetics and style. How do I choose safety shoes? Who said your safety shoes have to be ugly? Definitely not us. If being fashionable is your thing, then you can have that incorporated in your safety boots too. 
Some are made to look chic and classy, so you don't have to bother about looking drab. Materials like suede have been used to switch things up. Many brands even have some safety shoe models available in different colors. Amazon has both women and men fashionable safety shoes. Just ensure that your pick ticks other important boxes. Your budget. We know all too well that money is buying power. The amazing qualities you desire in a safety shoe can only be yours when you get them. If you are working on a budget, please check the prices before you fall in love with some shoes. Nevertheless, Amazon has some affordable safety shoes for your pick. However, don't be unnecessarily frugal. A few extra bucks invested in safety shoes could be the difference between productive and unproductive workdays. Also, you can ultimately save the pain and stress involved in feet injury or pain and probably back pain. Time for care. Safety shoes need to be cared for appropriately, so they can last longer. Some materials require more care than others. If you are extremely busy and can't be bothered with fussing over some shoes, then don't buy leather or suede shoes. Rubber shoes may suit you well because are easy to clean. In conclusion, safety shoes are important and must be appropriate for you. Don't be in haste. Ensure that you make adequate research and check out reviews from persons with similar workplace and personal factors to you. Listen to your feet. When it comes to safety shoes, let your feet do the talking. If your feet say it loves a shoe, listen. If your feet don't love them, don't force it. Ultimately, the best safety shoes are a perfect blend of protection and comfort. Hope we've helped you in narrowing your choices? We hope we have made a difference in your journey to choosing the perfect safety shoe. If you enjoyed this video, please, hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell icon to get notified when we release new videos. Share this video and let us hear your thoughts in the comments section. Also, tell us what you think we missed out. Attention, we are committed to your safety needs including your family's safety. For this reason we have this app for you, Keep Me Safe Family Locator Tracker. Its features include GPS tracker, SOS signal, audio, and video recording, chat and voice notes, parental control, etc. Get a free download by clicking the link in the description.